Okay, we're going to do lesson 3-2, multiplying by 3, so having 3 as a factor. Okay, we've learned how to do the distributive property, so now we're going to use the distributive property to help us with our 3s. Obviously, once you multiply your or memorize your 3s, it's a lot easier, but this way is a great way to help us figure out some of these more difficult multiplication facts while we're still memorizing them, okay? So we can break apart, if we have three groups of anything, we can break it apart into two and one, okay? So if we have three groups of three, we can do what's two groups of three and what's one group of three and add it together, which is the same as three groups of three. So here we have three groups of five. Now, again, like we talked about, when you're multiplying by fives, you really don't need to break that apart. You probably know what three times five is. You know the answer, that's easy. But let's use an easy one to understand this process so that we understand how to do it when it's a more difficult problem, okay? So if we take three groups of five, let's split it right here and write it as two groups of five and one group of five. Okay, can you do that on your paper? So, Let's multiply these out. Go ahead and write the answers there and add them together. Pause it and come back. Okay, so you should have gotten 10 plus five, add them together, and that's 15. Okay, so let's, let's use our cool parentheses here. Okay, our three is one color and our five is another color, okay? We're gonna keep the fives the same, see that? So the fives, one of the factors always has to stay the same. Okay, I would always break up the other factor. Leave the five because multiplying the five is so easy. Then a three, three can broken, get broken up into two and one, right? Because two plus one is equal to our three. So we're gonna break this up into two groups of five and one group of five. Here's our two groups of five and here's our one group of five. So two times five equals 10 and one times five equals five, so 10 plus five is equal to 15. So three times five is equal to 15. All right, the next one. There are three rows with seven cars in a parking lot. So here we have our three rows, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in each row. So we have three times seven as our array here. Use the distributive property. So that distributive property tells us that we're gonna, we're gonna distribute it. You get some sevens, someone else gets some sevens, someone else gets some seven, everybody gets seven, okay? So, because we're in groups of seven, so we have to keep the groups of seven the same. We can only change one of the factors. We can change the three and break up the three, or we can break up the seven, but we cannot break up both of them. So it looks they're, they're wanting us to break up the three and keep the seven the same, okay? so. Our three is one color and our seven is the other. They're showing us that these sevens are staying the same, which makes we're breaking up the three into a twos fax and a one fax. So see, here we have three groups of seven. They drew the line right here. So here we have two groups of seven and one group of seven. So I want you to pause it and I want you to calculate what those are and add them together so we know how much three groups of seven is and then we'll use the parentheses to get better with that. So pause it and calculate that out. Okay, so we know this is 14 and seven. And so then we add it up here, that's 11. So three times seven is 21. We just broke it up into two times seven and one times seven. Since we broke it up, we gotta put it back together, okay? So three times seven is the same as two times seven plus one times seven. So two times seven is 14 and one times seven is seven. And then if we add them together, we get 21. So 14 plus seven equals 21. So there are a total of 21 cars in the lot. Okay, a bookshelf has three shelves with eight books on each shelf. The total number of books is three times eight. Okay, which is we have one, two, three, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have three groups of eight. The total number of books is three times eight. Use ones and twos facts to find the total number of books on the shelves. So we wanna split it here into two times eight 
and one times eight, because this is two groups of eight and this is one group of eight. So I want you to pause it, calculate what that is, and add them up. Okay, so we should have 16 and eight, and if we add them together, we should get 24, okay? So let's look at the parentheses way of doing it though. Okay, our three and our eight, okay? We're keeping our eight the same. We're just, so this is three times eight and something, our eight stays the same. And then our three, we're gonna break up into a two and a one, right? So two times eight is 16 and one times eight is eight. Therefore, 16 plus eight is 24. There are 24 books on the shelves. Okay, on the back. Draw an array to show three groups of nine, then break the array apart to show how you can use two's facts and one's facts to solve the problem. So, first thing I want you to do is flip over your paper and draw, make an array that shows three groups of nine. Three groups of nine. Pause it and then come back. Okay, so you have three groups of nine up here. And we wanna, we wanna break up the three groups of nine to use a twos and a ones fact. So where do you think you need to split that? Pause it and come back. You should have drawn it right in between here. Or of course, even if you drew it here, that would have been fine. You, want, you could have two at the bottom and the one at the top or the two at the top. So write your multiplication facts over here and add them up and see what you come up with. Pause it and come back. So you should have two times nine and one times nine. That should equal 18 and nine. And that equals 27. So let's draw our um, parentheses. Okay, now we have a three and we have a nine. So our nine stayed the same. Now what did you break your three up into? You broke it up into two groups of nine and one group of nine. So I want you to calculate what those would be. Obviously you should be getting the same answers, it's just a different way of doing it. So pause it and come back. Okay. 18 plus nine, if you add them up, it equals 27. So three times nine equals? 27. 27, everybody's very happy about that. All right, good job.